646 here on your Thursday morning. Welcome back here to Good Day Las Vegas. And it's time to go in your business. Jill Leggins here from the Boulder City Chamber of Commerce. Good to see you once again, Jill. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Yeah. Good morning, Jill. So there's a lot going on right now in Boulder City. Uh, we've heard some of the businesses are closed for some remodeling. What's going on? Yes, and so not closed because they're closed, but closed <laughs> because of remodeling. And we're really excited. So there's probably a few too many cones and hard hats right now on our main street, the Boulder City Parkway. But it's because it's um, bringing something exciting. And so we're glad to have um, that reinvestment in the community um, by RTC. And we also are grateful for the city staff and the contractor. They're really being careful about what they are doing for the driveways and keeping those businesses open. And so we're inviting and encouraging everybody to make sure that they remember those businesses are still open and to, to patronize them. Um, but we're also excited because there's a lot of reinvestment in the community, over $4 million in reinvestment, as a matter of fact. And so that's just with three businesses alone. And so um, McDonald's happens to be uh, their uh, drive through is open, but the inside is closed for some remodeling. Um, and then Jack in the Box, they've been closed for about four weeks, and it's going to be an all-new store. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited about that, our original. And you were, mentioned, you were mentioning a, a new business is opening in the historic district, which yes. hasn't happened yours in a long time. Yes, I can't actually remember the last time that there was a building built from the ground up in the historic district. And so it'll be a, a great, um, I think it's called Jack and the Beanstalk Ooh, Child Daycare. And so, yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack in the Box, uh, Chili Jillies, Jill. <laughs> so there's a lot of nursery rhyme things going on there. <laughs> That's Good really stuff. exciting. So Boulder City is, of course, known for holiday activities as well. We're getting into the holiday season. So what are the elves working on down in Boulder City? So, you know, everything um, really begins uh, with the kickoff at the Trunk or Treat. And then that rolls right into, we've got Wine Walk this weekend, Best Damn Wine Walk. We also have the, um, the Pooch Parade and then a Fall Classic Car Show next weekend. And then we want to really celebrate that um, Shop Small Saturday. And oh, so yeah. that Saturday right after Thanksgiving, um, Boulder City's home of the small business owners, right? All those mom and pop shops. And they really have something unique. Uh, it's great to be able to, to run into a mall, and we love it, and we all do it, but we also really want to make sure we support those small business owners. And uh, remember that Boulder City is a great place to do that. And then that rolls right into all the Christmas events. The first weekend in December is always um, home for the holidays there in Boulder. And so we'll have the tree lighting on um, that Friday night right after Thanksgiving. Uh, excuse me, it's actually December 6th, so it's mm -hmm. the weekend after Thanksgiving and then we have the the great Christmas parade the following day and so all of those events are always so much um, hometown charm but they also are one of those things that everybody in Southern Nevada loves to come out to lots of great yeah. things happening and it's a great way to celebrate with family and your friends and so come out and check out Boulder City uh, we'd love to have fun. everybody yes and if you have family maybe coming in for the holidays that's such a exactly. good thing to take them to and so fun yeah. so the wine walk where are those wines from for that event next week? the weekend? best time wine walk it actually is a great way to be able to check out all the different businesses within the historic district. So there's over 30 stops, and in each of those different locations, there are all of the business owners, they all pour their own wine. So whatever oh, nice. whatever they have chosen and selected. But there's even some other things. We've got um, a couple of our businesses do spa waters and something Ooh. special and sangria. <laughs> and um, we have one of our businesses that does sake. And that's, they've actually become known as the sake house. And it's actually so eclectic. It's <laughs> a wonderful seamstress, and she's just a, a great family fr um, friend. How so cool. Whatever, whatever damn wine you want, uh, yeah. head yeah, down to the Best Damn Wine <laughs> that Walk. That is right, Best Damn Wine Walk. <laughs> good They've become pretty popular. Excellent. How cool. Well, Jill, it's good to see you once again. Thanks Thank for coming you. in this morning. Appreciate it. Good Thank to you see you, so Jill. Much. A lot of fun stuff coming up. All